The following is an edited recording from a live video broadcast. Image and audio quality may vary. So I thought, well, how about we look at something completely different, right? And it's great sci-fi films uh, from 2000 to 2020. So that's 20 years worth, right, effectively. I've just picked out 20 years worth of films, some good. It could be a bit facetious, some not so good, because you might be asking yourself, what would you kick off in the year 2000? Now, some people are really dialed into what happened in the year 2000 sci-fi film-wise. And I thought, mate, I've got to start with the best. Absolutely top of the range. One of the greatest movies ever made in the entire universe. And, of course, it had to be good old Battlefield. <laughs> Does everybody remember when this movie came out? Hey, back in 2000, good old John Travolta playing Turl. Um, uh, being a bit of, calling it a, uh, a bit of rubbish is probably not far from the truth. But depending on your perspective, you can look at it in a certain way and go, oh, yeah, it wasn't all bad. You know what it's like when you hear of a movie that comes out and you go, oh, my God, that's complete rubbish. You see yourself and you go, actually, it, was, it, was, it wasn't too, too bad after all. Um, but, uh, yeah, good old Battlefield Earth. I've started off with a bit of a joke, obviously, because it wasn't a great movie. But uh, obviously based on the book from L. Ron Hubbard, um, what does everybody think? What does everybody remember from good old Battlefield Earth? The thing that I couldn't, I didn't like is the fact that John Travolta played Turl because I thought Turl was supposed to be an alien, the Cyclos, if I recall. So I'm trying to think of all this trivia shit. Now I'm going to bring it all up to the forefront now. And, uh, and and it just didn't work. I mean, you needed an alien playing an alien. You can't have a human just with extra fingers and a bit of extra height and all the rest of it trying to make it convincing. That clearly was not going to cut the mustard. And, uh, yeah, and as you can see, as it only went, went downhill from there. Um, exactly right. So, uh, and it was quite disappointing. And the thing I found farcical more than anything else, and so if you know the story, I think Johnny Goodboy Tyler, so you've got to remember that now, uh, and, he's, and he's like natives, they discover a, um, uh, a cavern full of aeroplanes, like jet fighters that have been like, uh, unused for 20,000 years. Of course, in real life, no dude can just fly a jet fighter. But these guys, they get on a simulator and they go, yep, we're all good to go. And they just jump in and fly off and away. Oh, Jesus Christ. Might have worked in the books, but it certainly did not work uh, in the movies. And as a result, it was a massive disappointment. I think everybody sort of distanced themselves from it, regardless of whether you like the book or not. Um, it was definitely not the best way to go. Uh, there were no Battlefield Earth Happy Meal toys. No, I think merchandising was almost non-existent for that movie, actually. I don't think they did anything for it. So... Wasn't to be.